Hello everyone, we are going to discuss the behavior of the conductor in electrostatic field. You need to understand here that when a conductor is kept in an electric field, then there are some properties which are linked with the conductor. We are going to discuss those properties of the conductor. The first property is the net electric field is zero in the interior of a conductor. So to understand this, we take two plates, one positively charged and another one negatively charged. The positively charged plate, the electric lines of force moves away from the positively charged plate and ends at the negatively charged plates. You need to understand that these are the plates but we are having the side view so that's why the plates are represented by a line only. So the external electric field E, e X, T, is the electric field which is produced by the positively and negatively charged plates. Now a conducting block is placed in between the two plates. As soon as the conductor is placed we know that free electrons are there inside the conductors. So whatever positive charges are there, equal number of electrons will accumulate at one edge which is near to the positively charged plate and on the other end from where the electron has left will become positive which is near to the negatively charged plate. So you can see that these induced charges, we have discussed earlier also, these induced charges produces its own electric field. We call it induced electric field or electric field due to polarization because the process is also known as polarization. The electric field being represented by E, I and D. The direction of electric field here inside, you can see it from the positive to the negative charge. So you need to now understand that the electric field, one is the external electric field which exists here and everywhere. Inside the conductor there are two electric fields, one which is due to the induced charges at the edges of the conductor and the other is the external electric field and both of the electric fields are because of equal number of charges so you can consider you can understand that the magnitudes of these electric fields inside the conductor will be same but their directions are opposite so naturally what will happen the net electric field which will be calculated inside will be the electric field due to the induced charges minus the electric field due to the external uh, charges which are present there at the plates, uh, two parallel plates which we have considered. So the net electric field inside will be zero. You, uh, you don't get confused because the external electric field is not shown here but the net electric field which is the external electric field minus the internal uh, uh, induced electric field so when we subtract them since their magnitudes are same the net electric field becomes zero so always remember that whenever we consider a conductor in a ma uh, electric field the net electric field inside the conductor will be zero we move to the next point now just outside the surface of the charge conductor electric field is normal to the surface that is it makes an angle of 90 degree with the surface let us take a conductor here of any shape we have considered and let us consider uh, charges are distributed over its surface and electric field you consider making a certain angle theta with the surface. Now the component of electric field along the tangent to the surface will be E cos theta. Now if the charge Q is kept here so if the electric field E cos theta acts on the charge Q, then the Q charge will experience a force which will be given by Q E cos theta. But we know that charges when it is kept over the surface, it doesn't move. Reason? Because if it moves, you can consider it to be the flow of charge which gives rise to electricity. So if we touch a surface 
of a conductor we may get shock but we don't get it because the charges are there at rest that means the force which is acting on the charge q which is qe cos theta will be zero so if the force is zero that means cos theta is zero that means theta is 90 degree that is this angle is 90 degree that is electric field is perpendicular to the surface of the conductor so i hope this is also clear to you next point the net charge in the interior of a conductor is zero and any excess charge resides at the surface only so you need to understand this for this you take a conductor of any shape and you draw a Gaussian surface as shown by the dotted line here now this Gaussian surface inside the Gaussian surface we know that the electric field is zero we have proved earlier now only so if the electric field is zero so within the Gaussian surface if you use, use the Gauss theorem so integration E dot ds which is Q by epsilon naught since E is zero so Q by epsilon naught is zero that means Q is zero that is the charge inside the conductor will be zero because the electric field is zero now if you give some charge to the conductor where the charges will go naturally they will not come inside because then there will be charge inside also so since there cannot be any charge inside so all the charges which are given to the conductor will reside at the surface of the conductor only so I think this is clear one more thing here you need to understand that by saying that no charge is there inside the conductor it means that there is equal number of negative and positive charges the net charge inside the conductor is zero so if any extra charge is given it will always reside at the surface of the conductor we move to the next point the potential is constant within and on the surface of the conductor this you understand by the fact that electric field is zero we know so uh, this formula uh, electric field as a negative gradient of potential that means dv by dr will be zero it means v is constant so always remember one thing whenever a conductor is given at the surface and inside the surface of the conductor the potential is always a constant quantity potential doesn't change because the value of electric field is zero I hope this is also very clear to you next the electric field at the surface of a charge conductor is proportional to the surface charge density this you need to understand clearly see here we have a conductor of any shape and it has a small surface given by delta s now we draw a Gaussian surface in the form of a cylinder and then we know the formula for flux E into delta s so electric field into the small area which we have considered here also according to Gauss theorem the value of flux is given by Q upon epsilon naught where Q is the charge enclosed by the Gaussian surface now if you consider this conductor has a charge density of sigma then for the surface delta s the charge in the surface delta s will be sigma delta s so this equation for electric flux can be given by E delta s and the value of Q can be written as sigma delta s so in this equation delta s cancels out and we have the value of electric field E which is given by sigma upon epsilon naught it means that the electric field is directly proportional to the charge density at, as written in the point number 5 one more thing you have to consider if we consider it in vector form then n cap will be included because we have already proved in the previous point that the electric field is perpendicular to the surface n cap represents an unit vector which is perpendicular to the surface our last point which we are going to discuss here is electric field is zero in the cavity of a hollow charge conductor by hollow charge conductor we mean 
uh, it is shown here the conductor which has a charge which resides at the surface only and this portion is hollow we know that the electric field is zero potential is also a constant quantity now since the electric field is zero what does it mean if we consider a Gaussian surface here so inside the Gaussian surface if the electric field is zero that means E dot ds is zero that means Q by epsilon naught is zero that means Q is zero that is the charge inside the cavity will be zero I hope this is very clear to you you may understand each and every point if there is any doubt please post the doubt and be very free to question me any simple thing which you don't understand so I am waiting for your post or any kind of doubt uh, please uh, give me the doubts thank you